Today on our 2005 Honda Odyssey, we'll be installing the Kurt trailer hitch receiver in a class two with an inch and a quarter opening, part number C12031. Here's what the hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now we'll give you a couple measurements and helping you choose some accessories for your hitch, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is approximately two and a half inches. From the top of the opening in the receiver to the ground is approximately 13 inches. Now let's go ahead and install our hitch. To begin with, we'll go ahead and install our safety strap. This will support the exhaust once we remove two exhaust hangers so we can gain access to our weld nuts on the passenger side. Now that our safety strap's in place, we'll go ahead and use a little spray lubricant and a pry bar to work the two exhaust hangers off. Once the exhaust hangers are loose, we can go ahead and lower the exhaust down enough to give us a little bit more access to our two weld nuts on the passenger side. We'll be using a total of four weld nuts, two weld nuts on each side, and one carriage bolt and spacer block that'll be fish wired in on the driver's side. We'll go ahead and clean the weld nuts out using a little spray lubricant and a half inch nylon tube brush, which is part number 814092. Once we have all four of the weld nuts cleaned out, now we can go ahead and use our fish wire to put our carriage bolt and spacer block into place. We'll go ahead and put the coiled end of the fish wire in through the hole where we'll be pulling the carriage bolt back out of, and then come out our access point. Once we have the fish wire pulled out the access point, we'll go ahead and slide the spacer block on, and then we'll thread the carriage bolt onto that. We'll then go ahead and put both pieces up in through the access hole and pull them out through the mounting location. You can then go ahead and take the fish wire off. Now the other four locations, we'll be using a bolt with a conical tooth washer, making sure that the teeth on the conical tooth washer are facing the hitch. Now we're ready to go ahead and put our hitch up into place. We'll go ahead and rest the hitch over on the exhaust pipe on the passenger side while we put one of the bolts and conical tooth washers in place on the driver's side. Once we have this done, we'll go ahead and go over to the passenger side and put one of the bolt and conical tooth washers in over here as well. Now that the hitch is supported, we can go ahead and finish putting all the hardware on. Now that we have all the hardware installed loosely, we can go ahead and make sure that the hitch is centered and then tighten it down followed by torquing it to the manufacturer's specification. Once we have all the hardware torqued, we can go ahead and put the two rubber exhaust hangers back in place and remove our safety strap. And with that, that'll conclude our installation of the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C12031 on our 2005 Honda Odyssey.